Hey everybody, Edo here, and just over a year ago, I did the Stuck at Home Gaming with Edo Design Contest. You can see it was a year ago because my hair has grown. That's how much of my hair grows in one year. Anyway, I did that contest, and it was sort of a one-time thing, but I was really, you know, stuck at home, walking around by myself, you know, or with my family, and just thinking about, you know all of the challenges of the situation at the time and wanting to provide some inspiration to people to do something while they were just at home with extra time. And I did the contest. Um, it was pretty amazing. There were uh, 80 or 90 submissions. We handed out a bunch of prizes, did some donations, um, and it was super cool. Played so many games. I, I hadn't really been thinking about it, and then a few people had asked me, and recently I did a QA. and a with Raphael from BFF that did Hidden Leaders, which is like killing it on Kickstarter now, or maybe they've they've just ended. I think they're still open, but like 6,000, 7,000 back or something ridiculous. And um, they had submitted to the, to, the, to the design contest. They hadn't won, <laughs> they, they're winning now. But, you know, I was just thinking about it and I said, you know what, I should do it again, you know, because it's a year later. And Many of us are still uh, stuck at home. And, you know, vaccines are coming and the world's starting to move. Cons maybe, maybe are not happening. But um, I think it's as good a time as ever. And again, Pencil First Games, for those who aren't aware, the company I own, uh, is graciously donating prize money to have another contest. Uh, before I go on, you should know that Herbaceous Pocket Edition is available now from the Pencil First Games website, shop.pencilfirstgames.com. And if you like Advent, uh, Herbaceous or just want a, a super incredible small edition pocket game that you can learn and play quickly, uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic and gorgeous one. Steve can design, Beth Sobel art, all just amazing. Let me see if I can get something other than the sage. These are all in order because I haven't shuffled yet. There's some bay. Super awesome. Anyway, there goes the promo. But uh, we, we will have prizes, so thank you, Pencil First Games. Anyway, so um, the contest is going to be very similar to what I did last year. There's a couple wrinkles and changes this year, um, but it's mostly the same. Uh, and so uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Um, there are cash prizes, and I'll talk about that. There will be three categories again solo design, two player, and three to five player games. Each of these categories will have a first place prize of $250. Actually, there'll be some other big prizes I'll talk about um, when I get into some of the twists, but then we will also do uh, five or more small prizes, $50 each for other submissions. They were just games that I wanted to recognize for one reason or another, and I will do it again, and it will be five or more, um, depending on what I want to highlight. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, uh, the rules are similar. So, um, the intent here, and this is really important, this is about new designs, right? This is the idea that you're going to go spend some time and create something new. It can be an idea that you've had rolling around in your head, maybe you've messed around with it, and now's your chance to, like, get to it. Um, but what I'm not interested in is the game that you've already submitted to five other, um, design contests, the game that was submitted last year to this contest. I want the purpose of m making available this prize money and trying to do this is to say, hey, a year may have passed, but there's still, you can still have fun. You can still create, be creative, go do, go make. I really want that to be part of it. So, um, like I said last time, how am I going to know I, I'm not going to go researching every submission. Uh, generally, what will happen is somebody might get recognized or win, and then somebody will tell me. It's the honor system. It's about doing something new or, again, something you would have wanted to do. Be creative. Um, the purpose here is to create print-and-play games, both uh, for submission uh, and for the contest, but for other people to play. There are lots of people stuck at home, so we want to create games that anyone who's interested can check it out and play that you can share. So by submitting to this, you're not submitting some hidden, no one can see it idea. This is an open, in submitting it, it's public. I'm gonna have open directories and people can check it out and play and play your games. And that was a really fun part of the last contest. A lot of people played these games and we just increased the amount of fun in the atmosphere. 
and I still think we need a little bit more fun in the atmosphere these days. Um, they should be short and easy. I'm going to go back to two-page rules. Front and back, people were pretty small in font last time. I'm okay with it. But I, it, it needs to be something that people can be like, I'm going to read it and be able to play, again, target time frame, sort of max is 45 minutes, maybe a little longer with a bigger player count, but really it should be a faster game. 20, 30 minute counts are great. It's like, hey guys, we printed it, we cut it up and we played. Um, along those lines, from a PNP perspective, it's got to be printed all 8 by 11, nothing huge or fancy. Um, you can require um, like little pieces and dice and that kind of thing. Assume like a general game player who's willing to do a print and play tokens, dice, maybe some meeples, maybe a 20 sided die or whatever. Um, nothing too much more elaborate than that. And I'm gonna have all these listed, these rules listed out. Um, no specific genre, any type of game, any type of mechanic, anything's fun. Actually, I was a little bit specific on theme last time. That's, this time, don't worry about the themes, whatever you want. Anything that you want to find fun. At, at, when this happened last year, I really didn't want very, like, I wanted to be out, outdoors and uh, adventurous, but it's fine. Anything that you want to do, you be you, I'll be I, <laughs> be creative. Um, and uh, I talked about the max. Um, themes open. Um, oh, okay, and so here are the twists. Okay, last time it was a lot to play all of it. It was so much work. And I, I enjoyed it, but it, it's really hard to get playtesting. To mix things up, for good reason, there are two additional requirements. One, you have to make a cell sheet for your game. What's a cell sheet? A cell sheet is a single, one-sided piece of paper that is an elevator pitch for the game. Why you should play it. Why it's cool. What's interesting. What are the mechanics. It's not about buying. I don't want a price point. But it's like, if you don't read the rules and you don't look at everything and you just looked at this one piece of paper, would you want to play it? And why? What's the hook? What makes it cool and interesting? You got to submit one of those. In addition... A 60 second video. Absolute max of 90, but I'm really talking 30 seconds, 60 seconds, one minute video pitch on the game. It can be fancy, it can be cool, you can do more, but it, it, it can absolutely 100% just be you on camera talking about it. Now, wh why am I doing this? One, it's so fundamental. If you're a game designer working on a game and you want it to like manifest and, and not just be a contest, which is okay, um, being able to communicate and pitch and talk about why your game is cool is super important. You need to be able to make a sell sheet. You need to be able to do a video pitch. When there aren't as many cons. It's just a fundamental. And it's, it's going to be a tool in your tool chest and struggling through doing it is really important. I think it's a really big deal. It's really important. I will even say, if you're not comfortable on camera, just have the camera pointing at your prototype and talk about it. That's fine. Now, I will, I will, I'm going to add a reward for the best sell sheet and the best video. So that's two other 250 prices. And maybe it's because you do a bunch of whiz-bang stuff in it, or maybe it's because you're witty, or maybe it's because the game's that good and you're like, here's the hook, and I'm just like, I want to play. And here's the last wrinkle. I'm not going to play all the games. Uh, it's, it's, it's so much time and so much work. I'm going to watch the videos. I'm going to read the sell sheets. And I'm going to look over the, the rules and print and plays. But I'm only going to play the games I want to. Um, which is an interesting take, but I think the, the point I'm trying to make here is one of those three things has to make somebody interested because, you know, if, if you can't get me interested by looking at your rules and your components, 
by having a cell sheet or by having the video and I'm just playing it perfunctory, um, you know, I don't, you're not going to win anyway. <laughs> um, but the, but the other part is, and some people are like, why don't you have more people do, you know, Hey, it doesn't have to just be you. Why don't you get other people to participate? Like coordinating a bunch of other people to play test stuff and like other reviewers that it's a big, I, I want to do this timely and, and I, I and I'm going to make a point. So, cause that was the biggest thing holding me back was like, I don't know, I can play another 90 games. It was like really tough, especially with limited play because of, of, of social distancing and stuff. So that's the gauntlet. That's the extra challenge. Part of what you're doing is convincing people to try your game. And that's not just me. It's other people checking it out. And I hope, I hope you take it on with vigor and rigor like like go at it go at making your design and go at like here's a self sheet and go at here's a video i'm not sure certainly a, a fancy video or a fancy shell cell sheet or like gorgeous rules or like interesting components can hook somebody but don't i'm not you it could also again be just the idea or how compelling or just placards or something fun and that's why I was going to do, um, like, maybe you don't do a video. You, I'm asking for both. I'm going to whittle it down a little bit. But, but, um, I want there to be different ways to, to grab my attention and the attention of others. I'll absolutely deliver the prizes. So the other argument could be like, well, it's a little bit harder to get into the contest. There's a little bit more uh, 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 going in there. Uh, therefore, um there's fewer people to compete against. I don't know. I, I'm hoping lots of people do it. I, I'm really looking forward to the content. I really enjoyed reading through everything. So um, from a timeline perspective, this is important. So I'm announcing now, like I did last time, I'm going to actually open up, uh, just have the announcement now, get people thinking I'm working. On June 1st, in like um, three weeks, I'm going to open submissions. I'll do another video like I did last time and say, here's the file, here's where to put it. It's going to be very similar to last time, plus couple more, you know, spots for the video and stuff. And um, then everyone will have two weeks to submit for June 15th. And then I'll try to have everything together by probably mid-July, end of July, the latest. And then do the reveals, do the winners. Again, as soon as submissions are open, um, people are going to be able to check things out. I definitely want, again, I, it was so cool to hear people playing these games and your games, right? So... It's going to be fun. Don't be daunted. Like, take it as an opportunity to say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to figure out how to use a camera. Hey, I'm going to figure out what a sell sheet is. Um, some folks had made some recommendations to me on, like, I might do a couple video examples in the next couple weeks about how, hey, what should be in a sell sheet? Hey, what's a good pitch video? Um, to help folks. Uh, but really, I just want to get people making... But in this, this time, get people thinking about how to sell, how to get people, and sell is not the right word, how to get people excited to play your game. Um, cool. Any questions? Uh, I, I will have lots of uh, rules and notes and, and stuff like that. But questions, comments, add it, happy to add it, and just share. Let other people know. Let folks know. Let's get lots of submissions. I think that's great for everybody, uh, and I'm excited. So anyway, thanks so much. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks. Bye.